According to Miss Pandey, it's just a lot more talk and no real decisive action. She says crime is out of control and she's curious to know how the minister will address that. But I feel that it's always with the government that they seem to be focused on one thing at one time and not looking at the, the entire picture. And when you look to solving crime, you have to look at prevention, detection, prosecution, uh, and, and of course rehabilitation. So um, I, I'd like to know what we're going to do about that and what plan he has, and perhaps they have discussed this before. I think that crime is completely out of control. She tells us the country is frustrated by the crime and the time for talk alone is over. She says a joint select committee of parliament was told that there are corrupt officers in the protective services. You have a joint select committee telling you that illegal firearms are coming to legal ports because no scanner is operational in, in port of port of state. Three violent three officers are manually inspecting thousands of containers that enter this country. Okay? You have January to August, nearly 4,000 containers were, 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 were scanned, uh, were, were opened physically, I guess, out of 23,000 containers. Now, you've got a joint select committee of the parliament laying this report. And the basic things that you can start off. What is the plan? There's too much talking and no action. She lays the blame squarely on the shoulders of the government, but says both the government and the opposition have a duty of care to citizens. The crime works so when people are frustrated and frightened. The first thing you do is you go and hold a crime talk, or you say, I want to speak to the government, or so the government said they wouldn't speak to the opposition. You tell me two sets of grown people can't pick up the phone and meet and talk. And you don't care. You don't care. And crime this group of politicians and do you feel sadness or do you do you run and, and drop crocodile tears at a funeral because the, because India is there. Nicole M. Romani, TV6 News.